Hi everyone, I am here today to talk about what I want to read in January of 2021. Don't worry, my best books of the year videos are still coming. My plans this week might have to shift slightly because um, things in my life have changed very drastically in the past couple of weeks and things are, are rapidly changing. So um, I signed a lease today for an apartment, which is really exciting and my stuff is finally gonna be delivered to me and I'll be reunited with my like entire book collection in a couple of weeks, which is really exciting. But it just means I've gotten infinitely busier than I've been in the past like seven months. Uh, so originally I planned on doing a video every day this week, uh, every weekday, to just kind of like round out the year, do fun end of the year videos, and I definitely still need to do my, my best books of the year video, but things just might not be um, as smooth <laughs> as I had expected them to be. And I made this reading list before everything kind of started happening, so I, this reading list might be overly ambitious. We'll just have to see how it shakes out with moving and with starting my new job. But this is an aspirational list of what I hope to get to in January. I mentioned this in my goals video, but I am looking to do more buddy reads. So if any of these jump out to you as ones that you would like to buddy read with me, that would be really cool and I will definitely prioritize any of those that happen to come up if they do. One of my goals for the year was to start off 2021 by reading other people's favorite books of 2020. I just thought that would be a really great way to almost guarantee myself some good reads, or at least hopefully like set me up for success by reading the favorite books of other people that I really enjoy and who I feel like our tastes sometimes align. So I have two of those selected. A lot of people haven't made their best books of the year videos yet, understandably, because the year isn't quite over. So I am kind of holding out for that last one, but I do have two picked out. The first being Parakeet by Marie Helene Bertino, which is Matthew Sharapa's favorite book of 2020. I also yesterday saw that Alex from What Page Are You On posted his favorite reads of 2020, and Luster was his favorite. I have wanted to read Luster tentatively, like I've heard so many good things about it, despite the fact that the premise isn't something that really jumps out to me as something that's that interesting. But if it's someone's favorite book, I am willing to give it a try, and I have truly heard nothing but amazing things about it. So. Excited for that one. What the third book will be, I do not know yet, but those are two of my first reads planned for the year. And I'm also planning on doing and participating in the Invisible Cities project. I have one book picked out for each of the countries. Japan, I have picked out Manazuru by Hiromi Kawakami. I haven't read any Hiromi Kawakami and this is not one of her most popular works, but someone years ago now I think recommended it specifically to me as a Japanese novel to check out. And so I'm gonna do so and hopefully I'll like it and then I can read some of her more popular works. For Argentina, I have selected Earth Eater by Dolores Reyes. I don't remember entirely what this book is about. I think that it might be Magical Realist. I saw the cover on several best of the year lists and it just seemed intriguing, so I'm gonna eventually <laughs> figure out what that was about. And for Morocco, I have selected Adele, which I haven't read anything by her. Lullaby slash The Perfect Nanny, whatever it's called. I n never super appealed to me, but I want to give it a try for myself. And the premise of Adele sounds more interesting than The Perfect Nanny. Another one of my goals for this year was to try reading a short story a day. <laughs> we'll see if I can actually do that, given how busy I have rapidly become. But I don't, I, I don't want to fail before I've even started. So I have two short story collections selected here to choose from. I think I can make it all the way through the best American science fiction and fantasy of 2019 in January if I read one a day like I intend to. It was edited by Carmen Maria Machado, who I've, I've always intended to read more of. I still haven't read her memoir, but I did enjoy her collection of short stories, and I think that this could be a great way to find new SFF writers that I haven't been exposed to before. And I specifically noted that looking through the titles included in this list, there are a lot of uh, writers of color, and I think that there are also several queer writers, so I'm really looking forward to getting into this. But that won't quite cover the entirety of the month, so I also am planning on starting The Girl in the Flammable Skirt by Amy Bender, which is more fabulous short stories. I read her collection The Color Master, and I really enjoyed it, and I also read The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake years ago now and enjoyed that as well. I've always meant to go back to Amy Bender. She reminds me of Karen Russell and Kelly Link. And both of them are authors that I really have enjoyed as well, so I'm looking forward to this one. And also Chris from Chris's Bookish Cauldron said that he adored this collection. I'm pretty sure it was him anyway. So um, yeah, that is, you know, even a greater endorsement to, to get into it. I don't think I'll finish it in January, but I would like to at least get it started. 
And if that's not ambitious enough, I also do want to read some things that I physically own. A lot of those are library books, but I did receive some books for Christmas and will certainly be uh, rapidly expanding my, my TBR once I'm reunited with my books. I haven't really been counting those as my physical TBR because I haven't seen them in like eight months, but soon they will be mine again and I will feel the pressure to start reading through those again. But for now I've only selected one physically owned novel and that is The Binding by Bridget Collins which is a book that I received for Christmas. I thought this would be a really fun one to read because it is a fabulous historical fiction so like historical fantasy I guess is a better term for it. I've heard um, Huck from Badger Reads adored this book and uh, I think it's a it's a really beautiful book so I'm really looking forward to it. I've had it on my radar for quite some time so I'm very grateful that I got it for Christmas and historical fiction feels autumn winter to me so I want to get through at least a few more before it starts warming up again but I will be living in the mountains where it'll be winter until like May so I guess that season will last quite a bit longer the you know coming up very soon but I am really looking forward to this. I'm also planning on doing um, public transit commuting to work ideally. I might have to drive some days as well but that would be my ideal situation is just to take the bus so that's prime time to listen to podcasts and audiobooks and I do have one audiobook selected that I would like to get to it is called The Divines by Ellie Eaton, and this comes out in January. I got it as an advanced listener copy. The jacket copy for this book comps it to both the girls and normal people. I haven't read the girls and I did not care for normal people, so I don't know if those are the best recommendations for me personally, but I am really intrigued by the premise, which focuses on a group of girls who went to an English boarding school and the, the boarding school has since closed because of some kind of dramatic accident, I assume. Um, something bad happened. Now the boarding school is closed and I think we're revisiting that incident retro retroactively um, from the perspective of some of these girls who were present when this thing happened. So I think it'll be a mix of past and present, perhaps a couple of different narrative perspectives. I'm not entirely sure. I just thought it sounded like a campus novel mixed with a mystery and, you know, boarding school. I just, I thought it sounded quite intriguing. Like it would be an interesting exploration of female friendships with a bit of, uh, you know, darkness and mystery thrown in. So I'm really looking forward to that. I will anticipate that I'll be able to listen to more than one audiobook over the course of the month, but I'm not trying to overwhelm myself with too many expectations. I do think that having some things picked out for myself in advance will be helpful, but I do want to leave room for myself to impulsively pick up things, especially since so many best of lists are going to be coming out from my favorite booktubers. I want to be able to maybe fit in a couple of those as well in addition. Perhaps it's going to be overly ambitious. I don't know how I'm going to actually get through all these books, but because my life will look very different in a month and I don't know exactly in what ways, but I'm really looking forward to finding out and hopefully reading a ton in the meantime. I'd love to hear your thoughts on any of these books if you have read them and you enjoyed them. Um, also suggestions for other short story collections I should check out because I, I hope that I will be able to get through all of the ones I own once I am reunited with my collection, which I'm very, very much looking forward to. You have no idea. So um, yeah, let's chat in the comments and I will see you in the next one.